Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Air Memories of Old. So guys, we are going to continue on from last episode. So we found this big thing, which I have no idea what it's going to be doing, but I think I get the kind of feeling that we're going to be back here. Um, something about this is quite interesting, but we're going to continue on down at south, really, to kind of see what's going on around here. Ruins of On. So this is where the God King was. This is his city. This is going to be interesting then, isn't it? Look at this. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's fly down. don't know if there's a better way of doing this. <laughs> That's definitely not it, is it? Whoa! Oh, that was so weird. Right, let's try that again. Let's get back into here. It's because I was flapping too much, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so we've got some people running and a guy with, like, a sword. Okay. It's obviously been battles and things around on. Makes sense. Over here. May I open the doors? Are you just going to let these soldiers overrun your city? Stop carrying and come out. Oh, interesting. So on is actually like, seems to be under attack. Whereas I thought that was the bad one. Oh, look at that. Nine tails thing. A smaller one. That's so creepy. Alright, let's go into this thing. Here we go, cool. Just got some more stuff to read. To Gorion of the Storm Islands from his son, Taozu Father, it is with sorrow that I must tell you that the loss of the Snow Crane Library. Palace guards of the City of Un came in the night, carrying weapons and shouting in the name of their king, Koru. Koroku, even. I'll get it right eventually. <laughs> They destroyed and burned houses and scrolls alike, and would have burned us too, had we not been able to escape. We watched from a safe distance, keeping close a few precious scrolls we had saved. We will journey to the monastery in the northwest to place the scrolls in its safety. I trust that it is too far away for Koroku's wrath, and too poor to excite his greed. The spirit crane will lead us until the snow line and then return home south with my letter to you. I hope he finds you well. Interesting, isn't it? So, you know, it's not as um, not as cut and dry, is it? If this guy was supposed to be bad, like the God King and all that kind of stuff, well, it doesn't seem as bad. What's going on here, then? I got some people fighting. You know, so it seems like, actually, the other guys have, like, invaded, unless I just have completely misunderstood it. Whoa! It's some lion or something, isn't it? People getting killed and everything. Yeah, so this is not, it's like looking pretty, you know, ruined, really. What is that thing? It's cool, isn't it? Alrighty then. Well, look over here, so there's loads of people around here then. Just don't know what these things are. They, they look like they should be like teleporters or something. So what was going on over here then? The God King demands changes. Okay. So was it actually, you know, that uh, God King, really bad, and it's like, the Koroku people came to kind of liberate them, but actually they weren't really, like, their liberators. You know, is that the actual story going on here? Who knows? It's interesting. I think we'll probably find out as we kind of, like, find bits of this. Do you remember this place being here and the lands drifting in the wind? We need to hurry if we want to reach someplace safe. So there we go. That's the, uh, kind of swan or the, or the crane type of thing. That's it. Crane, not a swan. It's mistaken as a swan. That's exactly what I did as well. Right, so let's continue. Yeah, let's continue through these ones here. I like these clouds, though. It's just weird when you go into them. It looks like really, like, I don't know, hypnotic, I guess. That might be the right word. Look at that. That's nice boost of wind there. Weird thing like that, isn't it? Lifter's Grove. Okay. Let's have a look around here then. So there's a big tree, okay. Right, a massive tree. Alright, so what is this thing then? This looks interesting. It's like the lighthouse thing, but like it looks like it's on instead, you know? And um, we can't go in there yet. Right. Well, let's try and figure that out. Okay, so we've got still some people here. The old gods are dead. The power belongs to God King Koroku now. Oh, okay. So did Koroku take over? 
And maybe. I must have done. Such a weird shriek. <laughs> so yeah, I couldn't find anything on the tree. So I don't know if there's something else that we're like missing or not, but I think for the time being what I'll do is I'll fly north into this gap and see uh, what's going on. Because I couldn't see anything at least. Okay, and what I found in the middle of this pond is some more of these things. So we'll see what these read. My name is Aram, and I was there on the day of the Great Divide. My youngest child was ill, and I was asked the spirit animals for help. When I prayed by the shrine of Eloquii, 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 I'm going to go with Eloquii, Eloquii, a terrible brightness pierced the air, and the land trembled and screamed. In terror, I took flight and watched with eagle eyes as the land broke into pieces which crumbled and turned to dust. Only one place seemed calm. I flew there and perched on it, horror struck. It was the lighthouse. The lighthouse was surrounded by a golden shimmer that warmed and soothed me. I saw the priestess Kara pass me by, weeping. She held a lantern key, such as they make in the city of Erzna, but the lantern was dead. The shimmer came from Kara herself, dwindling as I watched. She descended to the lighthouse, and I saw that many spirit animals had gathered around the tower, watching. When Kara came to them, they bowed their heads, and then left as if an unspoken signal. Curious, isn't it? It's interesting. Kara then looked at me and said, You are Aram. I know you. And we need to talk. I found my voice and asked, What has happened to the world, Kara? She was silent for a moment and then said, A great danger is gone. But also a great light. It's time we gather all who are lost so that we may find a way for our people to live in peace with the world again. Ever since then, I've been flying from one broken island to another to tell the lost people that there is a new home. To lead them there, uh, here, where we, in time, we heal again. Where my youngest can regain their strength. Okay, interesting indeed. So that's that island right there, of the lighthouse. But actually, if we go north, east now, it should be even more around. Like a giant, evil-looking tower thing. Look at this. This is huge. Whatever this is. The Creator's Shrine. Okay. Let's have a look at this, then. Woof. Well, it's huge. Whatever it is. But I can't get into that, either. So I'm wondering if these can all be unlocked at some point. That is massive. So that is this bit here then. Alright guys, so I've headed all the way over to here because I think I've just been like, um, I don't know, skipping parts of the storyline and <laughs> just going for a bit of a wonder. Um, let's get, oh, okay, cool. So these things then you have to use the lantern on. Right. So it could have been those other ones that I've seen before, I've just not known about that. Uh, and that gives us a thing. Okay. Do I have to fly through it, I guess? I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a go. It's gotta be a fly through thing, hasn't it? I mean, come on. No. So what does that mean then? Oh look! Oh look, that's laser beaming. Ah, right, okay. Right, so that laser beam's that plinth. Right, okay, now we're getting it. There we go. Puzzle. We're always gonna get stuck on a nice little puzzle, aren't we? <laughs> cool, so there we go. Let's just dive bomb it here. Same thing on this side as well. Let's whack that use to get that one up as well. well. That one's only got like half. Oh, that's fine. It's a sun and a moon, of course. There we go. So let's get into this. Okay, so the vault is what this one's called. Uh, this looks big, so this is going to be like a proper, proper quest one. So it's just, you know, it's like typical thing like... Um, listen to uh, to what's going on, follow what's going on, rather than just do what I do, which is just run off. Right, so I'm guessing we've got a little bit of a puzzle to do here. Let's light this up, power that up. A and D, okay. Uh, right. No idea what this is then. Guess we'll find out. Ah, look, there it is. So I think we're just supposed to just match that over there. So we've got the moony thing going that way, and we've got a sun one for the other one. So let's give this a go. There we go, that's it. So I went with that sun being on this side and the moon being on that side, and it just happened to work. Because I wasn't sure if it was going to lock in on the top or not. 
Um, but there we go. So that's the little puzzle there. And what is this here? Ah, another key. Cool, there we go. So we've now got the key. Ah, uh, Ninetales is back. Hello, little wanderer. You took your time. Were you perhaps let astray? Or just followed by the slow one? I think his name is Medfin. Slow as few shifters I have met, but sharp intelligent. Do you know what it is you found? Of both light and key to lead you into twilight, both dusk and dawn, I believe. Southwest of here, there is a temple, the silhouette of a setting sun. You will find more answers there. Go now, bird, faster than Meldvin. Secrets await you in the deep. Seek counsel from the ones who slumber. Alright. Get in there. Alright then, guys. So I think we're going to call it there for an episode. So if you guys have enjoyed, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, and as always, I will see you on the next one.